All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And we got a uh, looks like it's gonna be a two man thing on this one. Uh, just Yo. me and Shay right now. Uh, Rob's gonna be uh, skipping this episode because you know he got adult things to do, got to take care of his baby and whatnot. Mm. All right, so let's get right into it. Megalobox episode nine. What was the title of this episode? Too close. No, uh, what was the title of this episode? Oh, oh a I dead flower shall never bloom. Oh. Mm -hmm. Was it really? Yeah, that was the name. That was the name of this episode. I don't know why, but that was I the remember name. from titles is like the end credit thing, like not dead yet. Like that's all I remember. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but anyway, so when the episode first, first things first, when the episode begins, we're already in halfway through the second round. I, I it, it is funny because I really thought I was saying to myself, I was like, wait a minute, did I, did I miss an episode? What the heck going on? <laughs> No, it's just the way it started. It started with that in combat scene, you know, where they were like, "Yo, we're just gonna go right in straight into it," which I like. That was great, yeah. Like, just keep it, it, just keep it a hundred, just keep it a hundred. But um, we we pretty much spent too much time prepping for it anyway, which is why I like that the fact that they just went straight into the episode. You know what I mean? Like they already had two episodes combined together with, involving this new guy Mikio, so. Once this episode, episode nine came up, they was like, I right, bet we're just going to start. Here's the match. Let's get right into it. I didn't think now for them to start in the second round, I didn't think that was going to happen. But, hey, it's whatever. Yeah. Wait, how many rounds did it end up being? Like four five? About four rounds. Yeah. Well, it was decent. Yeah. I mean, we saw, you know, some good development character wise. Oh, like, but of course. Of fight. Like, that was pretty crazy. Uh, I mean, like, the fight uh, starts off. Um, Joe is, once again, getting his ass whipped. Mm. Like always. Mm. I, I feel mm -hmm. like Joe's character is more like a, a Rocky uh, base for his matches. Like, the first couple of rounds, he's getting his behind whoop. You don't think he's going to win, and then out of nowhere, some miracle happens. Eh, I wouldn't say it's a miracle in this, in this sense. It's actually, no. It's uh, actually just Joe f being smart and figuring it out. Yeah, he's very smart. For, I mean, someone that's dumb enough to go into a ring with people that have robot arms. But I'm just saying, you know, it's fine. It's cool. <laughs> all right, so we're, we're going to talk about uh, Mikio's gear. He tweaked it a bit. Apparently, we was all like, yo, Mikio, you know, he's going into this because his gear reads other gear and whatnot. So Joe got the Joe's going to have this. But when the match started, you're like, yo, Joe, like, the gear is actually reading Joe's movement. So obviously, the Mikio changed his gear around somehow because he knew if he went into it with it the way it was set up he definitely was going mm -hmm. to lose but so he had no choice but to tweak it a bit so now I it's reading like, not i feel like he was already trying to make that one to begin with anyway like i feel like this was the plan all along and right. the first ones were more of the collecting data because if you think about it if you're able to read movements from other gear you're reading the players movements the, the fighters movements as well and that's also just you know a way to collect data Exactly. He, he, it evolved. It, it evolved. I, now I can just collect data. Off. Well, because it's an AI. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, come on. We've all we've all seen how AIs work in any type of like entertainment business. Like that, it, it evolves. It's pretty fast. Yeah, it was kind of scary to be honest. So but Joe. In the end. Oh yeah. What? What? Like, it, it, the AI is what was really doing the fighting. Like exactly. Point, exactly. Should have just, just been a fucking robot. Exactly, like, and that's what I want to point out. Um. Uh, Yukiko and Yuri, they're both in attendance. Uh, Yukiko, she's already given up on Joe. She's like, all right, I already know how this match is going. And she stands up, and and Yuri's like, yo, where you going? <laughs> <laughs> like, it ain't over yet. Where, where you going? Where you going? We still got to find out who is the, uh, what was the uh, name? Uh, the genuine Arco is, so sit your ass back down. This is actually the first time I've ever seen Yuri actually kind of like, not stand up to Yukio, but like, like show some type of dominance. Because it's always the other way around. <laughs> Very true. He's always getting bitched on. Exactly. And also, I well, like... I, uh, I mean, I don't feel like... I mean, she's, she doesn't really keep him... I mean, he listens to her and shit, but I, he doesn't, like, talk down to him or anything like that. Like, she doesn't, like, you know, bitch on him. Exactly. But, um, so basically, Yuri's like, listen, the match is not over yet. Sit down. We're going to watch this. And Yuri, I like the fact that um, they had a little flashback really quick with Yuri and Mikio. Regarding the whole gear, well, so I, I wanted to know if this flashback was this flashback before, like right before the fight. I think it was right before the fight. I think okay. this was while um, Mikio was making the tweaks. 
Makes because sense. we know, because you know, Yuri is always wearing his gear twenty four seven. So yeah. Yuri kind of came into the gym. Mikio is um, sparring and whatnot. You know, making the tweaks and stuff. And Mikio was like, "Yo, bet like, I don't need to prove myself. Like, we could go right now." And Yuri was like, "What did Yuri say? What What did he say? I forgot what he said. I can't. I can't remember what he said. He said some honest. slick. He said some slick shit." I, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he said some slick shit. And then he... Basically, Yuri's being Yuri. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then he threw a punch, and Mikio, he put his guard up. Guards. And Yuri was mm-hmm. like, all right, so was that you? Or was it Ace? Oh, was it the... Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, it was Ace. <laughs> what exactly. Little face. I didn't think they were going to say anything. Like, I felt <laughs> like that was some disrespectful shit. Like, they made him bitch himself. Like... <laughs> Word. And Yuri's... You know, what what like, Yuri's pointing sage. out with that whole situation was I don't need a machine to tell me what to do and what not to do. This is why your gear is the inferior one. Mm-hmm. I just know, like, I'm a fighter. Like, that's what, that's what it all comes down to. I am a fighter. And you're, if you need, if you need gear to tell you when to fight, then you're not, you're not a fighter. I'm sorry. That's basically what Yuri is saying. Anyway, fight progresses. Exactly, uh, fight progresses. Um, Joel finds out a new strategy against the uh, ace. He realizes. Exa- exactly. So he's like, all right, if this, if the ace is reading my movements, I'm just not gonna move. Yeah. And now ace is like, what the fuck? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what is this? No one does this. Why is he doing this? Doesn't exactly. know what to do any- anymore. Just, and at uh, that point. Mikio is basically bitching his corner. He's like, "You guys are re- you guys are useless," blah blah blah. And they're like, "Oh, it's eighty percent, eighty five percent." He's like, "Yo, you guys are you. I don't know what y'all talking about." <laughs> but he doesn't know what he's talking about either. I mean, he's he's an amateur boxer. He's exactly. Trained for it. His body's trained for it. But he literally doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Like he's a scientist. That's what he is. He's a scientist. That's it. Exactly. And the thing about it is that the reason why Yuri went with uh, his current model instead of Mikio's is because of the whole the AI Secret Nation thing. It just is too much of a burden mentally and physically. So that's why Yuri was like... I feel like it, it was it was more than that, too. Like, he, you, he, Yuri just didn't want to be controlled in that way. Like, he really wants to box. He, he knows how to actually fight. Exactly. And then, um, so we, sit in here, yeah. so we get back to the fight. Mikio is still kind of like, you know, beating Joe down. Um, he even, I, at one point, he even knocks Joe out the ring. Well, actually, this is before Joe figured out exactly what to do. Yeah, he knocks him out the ring. Yeah, he knocks him out the crazy. ring. Um, I thought, I thought that was disqualification at, at one point, but apparently it's not. I don't know how these rules go. <laughs> so we're, in, we're into the, um, and getting knocked out the ring is disqualification for the person that does it or the person that gets knocked out. I don't know, but it's whatever. So we're continuing on. Um, Joe is like, yo, I'm going to beat this guy in one shot. And I'm just saying to myself, I, was like, I don't know how you're going to do that. Gets back into the ring and then he does this stupid, like, just just doesn't just put his guard up. And it's like legit confusing ace. And that's all Joe needed. Mm-hmm. Now what Joe's doing. That's right. You know, another thing that, that scares me about this is Joe's doing this, right? And Ace Ace is like, alright. I don't know what to do against this. So we're not gonna do anything. But now I feel like, you know, now that Ace has gone through all that, that eventually it's just gonna be able to see through like everything, like if you think like really think about it. Exactly. That's so then, gonna be scary. So then they go they go through it and Joe is basically like, listen, I'm going to wait for the right attack. We're going to predict what Ace is going to do because Ace doesn't know what I'm doing. So what's the what's the what's the lead point that Ace do? Ace is like, I bet we're going to attack. So they go for the attack. Joe counters and actually he actually connected. Ace actually connected with Joe. I'm not even I'm not even going to say Mikio no more because Mikio is not the one fighting. It's Ace. Ace yeah, is the one fighting. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mikio's so body. <laughs> exactly. So Ace. So Ace connects Joe, but then Joe comes up with the illest uppercut. Just like he was gonna say, one punch, boom, Mikio's down. I'm surprised he didn't do his little, his crazy spinning, his like you know back turn punch thing that he was practicing. Mm-hmm. That would've been cool to see. I would've loved to see that shit. Exactly. But 
By the way, our man Joe won the match, and now he is in the Megalonia. He's in the Megalonia, and I actually like this little interaction between Joe and Yuri because it kind of has a little mirroring of the, the exact same interaction that they had before. Um, Yuri was standing outside the ring. Joe was beating to the pole. Pops is holding him up. And Joey's like, yo, I just want to let you know I'm coming. You bitch. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to say. <laughs> oh, yo, God. it's for us to know you're a little bitch. Like, ah, oh, man, damn. <laughs> yo, and then I, I know because Yuri, I, and you know what's funny? I like the way because Yuri, they're talking. And I feel like Yuri really, really wants to fight Joe because he's like ready. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can definitely see it. I can definitely feel that off them. Like, like really I can, you can see the respect Yuri has for Joe, but at the same time, he's not really showing it. He's still being his Yuri self. I feel like, yo, their fight is going to go on for mad rounds. Bro. Yo, we, we, I'm talking about, how many episodes are you thinking? Be two or three? Like, they're going to be, mm, I want to, I want to say the final three episodes, or at least the final two, at least the final two. Exactly. Like, they're going to go on for a very, like, they're going to just keep fighting. Like, they're going to have fun. They're going to be having fun while they're fighting. It's not going to be about the money or anything, like, about being champion or anything like that. It's just they're going to be in it for the fight. Definitely. Like, like Yuri, like, even though Yuri has his gear, his gear is a part of him, blah, blah, blah. I still feel like Yuri has always been a fighter. And that's another thing that they have not done yet. We a backstory in Yuri. We really don't have a real backstory. I'm like, sure, okay. We don't have a backstory on Joe either. But we still don't have anything on Yuri either, you know. Like, I'm like, am I, I gonna? Are point. they gonna that's keep the, it that I way? Think, yeah, I mean, I think at that point, at that point for Joe, I feel like that's just straight up a part of his story. Like, about a, that's a part of his character. That is his character, right. not knowing his background. No, yeah, true. I mean, there's still some stuff. There's still some stuff that's gonna be unturned that we know. No, for a fact, it's gonna be unturned. Um, Sashio and his uh, his his picture. We're gonna find out who those people are. Definitely, we're still I mean, gonna back that. Maybe, so we're, maybe we're back he's at a, Joe. Like we don't know we, exactly. We so we're back at Team Nowhere's uh, place. There's like mad people now. All the, all the, uh, how can I say it? All the groupies are coming out of the woodwork and shit. I I don't want to say groupies. I want to say supporters because you can see a lot of those people that were like really cheering for him. Like they were really ready. They were, like they were really rooting for him. True. I want to say supporters. Groupies. Groupies will be those girls that were. Getting those, you know, Joe tattoos and shit like that. Where, those, are those tramp stamps and shit. But, mm-hmm. uh, groupies, but anyway. But these these um, are people that are really like, they're happy that he's winning. Like, you saw, you saw an old man that used to, that set up a couple of his fights. Exactly. In, in the restaurant. He was hype, bro. I was Word. like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, be um, hype, bro. Let's get it. Now, let's talk about this real quick. This is how the episode ends. This is now, this is what I'm like. All right. So, we got some more, more doors opening up. Pops makes his way outside. Told him, oh, I got to take a leak, whatever. And he's talking to somebody we don't know who he's talking to, and look who he's talking we to. We do know he's, who he's talking to. He's talking with Fujizaki. Well, yeah, we find out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What now? And what's that going on? Threw, and what? Fuji, what does Fujisaki say? Yeah. What does Fujisaki like, say? Done. Oh, we're, we're done. done. Everything's in here. We're like, whoa, whoa. Done. Mm-hmm. And I was like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. They, they got into Megaloni. What are you talking about? But that's what. That, if you really think back, that's what it was about the entire time. Get into Megaloni. Oh. And he ain't saying nothing about winning he's it. He's like, yo, listen, I need all this. I need this and this and that to get into Megalonia. Then, I mean, later on, they were like, yeah, we want to win. But the whole point was to get in. And that's what that's, oh, you think that's, that's what the You think that's what that with. is? So he's going he's gonna to have to try to pay up or something right now. And mm-hmm. I feel like there will be a way for him to get that type of money. Like, there will be a way. Like, I feel like someone, someone is going to put that money up for them. Well, remember, he's still not even sponsored yet by anybody. Well, yes, he's not sponsored, but at the same time, like, yo, I mean, he's in the Megalonian now. I'm pretty sure that she's going to start rolling in. Again, in the next episode, we're going to start seeing letters and people and news and all that stuff outside of Team team Nowhere trying to get sponsors for him. True, and true. think about all it, right. like, sponsors, I'm guessing, you know, in this future, sponsors that are sponsoring for for these boxers, they have to put up money for the gear and stuff. Guess how much money they would be saving just putting up for him? Because he That's doesn't true. need the gear. But let's right? see. And that's some really ominous uh, ending going on, but uh, I can't wait. Episode 10. How many episodes is this again? 13? It should be 13. All right, so we're going to have episode 10. If they decide to choose more, it's either between 13 and, like, the odd number, like, 19, uh, yeah. 18, 21. But we, I don't know, man. I feel like it's going to be 13 episodes. Yeah. So we but got episode 10 really coming up. I feel like it's going to be a season two, man. 
Oh yeah, definitely. So we got episode ten, and that's pretty much it. Let's find out what the hell's going on. Um, if I would once again another great episode. Uh, I like the way they just jumped right into the fight. I don't mind. Let's get the action going. Let's not have a a Dragon Ball Z. Let's talk build up bullshit. Let's just straight into it. So I like the way they did that. Once again, more storytelling. And once again, every ending it's opening up a new door for a new story or a new chapter in the in the um show. So let's see what's going on. Hopefully, episode ten will uh, deliver that. I'm guessing it will. Yeah. Maybe not as much as we think it will, because they've been throwing us for loops. To be honest, we have not been guessing what was going to happen That's correctly true. at all. <laughs> like, like I, I'm used to look pretty good with yo, this stuff. And yo, and it's, it's, it's just keep, it keeps like <laughs> switching. <laughs> Keep throwing us curveballs, bro. Yep. All right, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, until episode ten comes out, uh, yep. let's just wait once again. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty much it. Please check us out, like, comment, subscribe. If you like to uh, like what we do, just please hit that subscribe button. And also other animes that you want us to talk about, please suggest some. I know Shay and Rob, you guys got some back. Some on the back burner that you really guys really want to talk about is just, you know, when and, oh, yeah, when and how mm -hmm. we're going to do it. But um, it's definitely going to come, guys. So please just we be patient. You guys, trust us. Oh, yeah, definitely. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm Mike. I'm Shay. And this was Glitch Pit. Uh, Megalonia. Megalonia. Megalobox episode nine review. And we are out. <laughs> <laughs> Laters. Deuces. <laughs>